course, we all know that Kentucky is very well known for its bourbon. But did you also know there's a deep history of wineries right here in our state? We've stopped by Reed's Livery Winery right here in South Central Kentucky. We're going to learn a little bit of history of wine. All right, Rex, today we are going to let some people know some little known secrets about some wineries here in Kentucky. Uh, I w got a chance to talk with you and you were telling me some pretty interesting facts about wineries here. Well, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that Kentucky has the first commercial winery in the United States. It was established in 1798 in what is now Jessamine County, Kentucky on the banks of the Kentucky River. I love that wineries now here in Kentucky, they're really uh, coming back, they're really becoming a staple here in the state. Of course, bourbon is what we're kind of known for. Absolutely. But we have a little uh, competition maybe. Tell me a little bit about what happened in 2011. Well, I, I certainly like my bourbon. Yes. So I'm not trying to <laughs> offend those folks. But uh, in uh, I think 2011, the, the Kentucky tourist people reported that the Kentucky vineyards, the Kentucky wineries, surpassed the bourbon trail as far as the number of visitors. And I think we're at about 70 wineries in the state and, and there's wineries coming on all the time. And we want to promote that and, and create an atmosphere for the uh, wine tourist to come and uh, bring money to our state and leave it for us so we can do things with it. How did you decide one day you were gonna come out here and have a winery? <laughs> It was an evolution of, uh, I, I'm a, uh, uh, as, the, as the picture on the on the on our label that we developed with Grandma and Grandpa, he was a blacksmith, a horseshoe, which I did for years around here. And she was an immigrant from Austria and, and, and made wine at home. And as you get older, you're, you're not going to shoe horses because your knees get bad and your uh, arthritis, which is, has actually happened to me, is I can't hardly do that anymore. And uh, I was looking for something to do on the farm that would pay the bills. And uh, I started with the, the pick your own fruit production and it, I needed to, some kind of value added and everybody in the world makes jam and jelly. And uh, I had some fruit that wasn't uh, quite, it had a little white spot on it and then talking to the, uh, the county agent, they, they said there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, if I knew anybody that made wine, they would love to have the blackberries that I had that year. And a little light went off and I said, well, I can probably do that. And I went to Barnes and Noble and got a book and I made wine for several years and gave it to our horse uh, customers in our horse business for Christmas gifts. I didn't know what kind of reception I was gonna get when I asked people to pay for it instead of me giving it to yeah. them, but it's worked out pretty well so far. <laughs> And so how, how long has the winery been here? Uh, we've, the, we've been commercial, I think this is going on our sixth year. A lot of people, you know, you were mentioning uh, Merlot, I think a lot of people have heard of Merlot or Chardonnays or Rieslings or things of that sort, but I do like that when you come here uh, to Reeds, the wine you're getting it could be an apple, a blackberry, I've had the strawberry before. It's going to be a lot of different wines you maybe have never tasted. The biggest compliment I get, and I get it occasionally, uh, is when they taste my wine, they say it's true to the fruit. Or blackberry tastes like blackberry, it's still wine, but it's, uh, and, and it's not overly sweet, and it's not too dry or harsh. So try to balance it, and, and that's the biggest compliment I think I can give as far as my fruit wine. Would you say that this has kind of turned out to be more than you thought, or? Well, I, I still work pretty hard. I thought I would be working I'd just be sitting back and watching it all happen, but it's 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 a little more involved than that, as we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. I liken it to if I invited you over to my house for supper. If you like what I cooked, it just gives me that feeling, and that's the same when people come and they like my wine. You, you get know, that same feeling. I get you know I feel good about producing something that people enjoy. <laughs> 